all of you will get be getting the same all of you will be getting the same content so within this mass pro program prelims program uh, we have uh, six components first of course is the test earlier we had uh, only uh, we had 44 test 100 questions test uh, that was for the um, earlier batch but now in january batch uh, we have 60 test so we are giving you access to them also so uh, 16 test have been increased so we have around 60 test now so roughly you have 5 months uh, uh, even less than 5 months so 12 on an average per month you have supposed to give that way you are supposed to give three tests per week so it's not practical at this stage later on you will be uh, frequency will be more and this stage at least you are supposed to give one test in a week maybe two at the later stage because prelims is all about solving the questions and how you get it more correct how you get it correct more than someone who is sitting nearby or better than all those other students who might not qualify so jisko jitna zyada number aayega jisne zyada question solve kiye sahi sahi usi ko prelims hoga so that is the only strategy here you will be able to solve more and more question with less and less mistakes in prelims so, so you get 100 10 marks 120 marks and uh, previously our students have got this kind of marks in prelims and they qualified prelims so uh, in uh, prelims uh, without any worries because uh, the things the techniques that we use uh, the ideas that we are using for the prelims so i expect that all of you have pen and paper with you and will be following the uh, ideas in letter and spirit so uh, as i said there are six component to smash prelims first test so you have 60 test schedule is share with the group and it is also will be available on the portal and you are supposed to follow the test suppose your test is on 7th then you will open the portal on 7th and you will attempt the test online if you want to attempt the test offline at delhi center or at the pune center you can visit the center and uh, coordinate with the center manager and you can give the test you can ask for the particular test paper uh, <coughs> which has become live and you will be able to give the test so that is it you have to follow the schedule now uh, some of you uh, from earlier uh, batch might have confusion whether you can follow the january batch schedule so schedule is just for the convenience for the student and we have designed it in a way that it helps your revision you are free to follow any schedule that is there but for god sake you have to follow at least one schedule and if you are not attempting the test you are not giving the test then there is no meaning to it i will uh, ask the mentors to do not give you call and also i think i forgot to introduce myself so briefly uh, my name is santosh gupta i think most of you will be aware if those who are not aware <coughs> i am the prelims coordinator uh, and um, chief instructor for the smash prelims program and overall i will be uh, responsible for the mentorship aspect of all of you so some of you uh, directly i am mentor to them but overall i am mentor to all of you so if there is any difficulty if your mentor is not able to solve then you can reach out to me through your mentor and not directly um, calling me any time of the day uh, that creates inconvenience and uh, i have to call the students those who are uh, mentees to me so uh, that's why uh, there is a process to it so first aspect uh, questions uh, uh, test series that is 60 test that you have and uh, some of you might have already attempted some of them uh, some of you who have joined way back but you are not giving the test so 
each of you i have details for each of you i can see how many tests you have given when how many question you have attempted how many question you have made wrong in which area you are making the problems and all these things and these are all are accessible to your mentors also so uh, and if you are not you can uh, give the test download the discussion uh, uh, explanation sheet and you may share with your mentor for their comments but it's better that you find out the mistakes first uh, and then discuss with the mentor so i am going to discuss the steps so first give, give the test second is the mentor call so when do you seek the mentor call so as you have enrolled there will be a mentor call of course uh, orientation session that we call it and uh, within that uh, all the programs suspect is explained to you and in the mentor uh, first call itself if any one of you of smash films have not got the first call please uh, write in the group or <clears throat> uh, reach out to the mentor that has been allotted that you have not this is only for the smash film not european foundation you are supposed to talk to your existing mentors so in the first call itself you are supposed to discuss your strategy what should be your plan of study for how much duration you are supposed to study polity then economy geography history like that or third thing what is the problem that you are facing what are the sources that should be uh, followed all these things so if you have not discussed these things with the mentor you can uh, after this uh, session you can reach out to them and uh, discuss what are the problems you are facing but after the first call you are not supposed to dial him minute by minute ki sir ye problem ho gaya aaj haath dukh raha hai kal pair dard kar raha hai to test nahi de paunga par jo nani bimar hai chautha din dadi bimar hai ya khansi ho rahi hai sardi ho rahi hai ye sab bahane nahi chalenge jab test doge tabhi mentor call uske baad se uh, available hoga and the, uh, ye criteria isliye banaya gaya hai so that ki you can give the test so second aspect is mentor call third aspect is current affair lectures to so, smash prelims mein one year ka 2022 ka whole current affair may be 2022 and 23 ka up to four month so one and half years ka cover kiya jayega by the core faculty of civil delhi उसमें क्या है कि सब्जेक्ट वाइज पहले हम लोग करंट एनवायरमेंट देन साइंस टेक देन इकोनॉमिक्स पॉलिटी और आर्ट एंड कल्चर देन मिसलेनियस टॉपिक्स है उसके शेड्यूल भी ग्रुप में शेयर है एंड पोर्टल पर भी अवेलेबल रहेगा एंड उसके संबंध में इट विल बी डन ऑफलाइन एज वेल एज ऑनलाइन ऑल्सो एंड आई थिंक फॉर ऑफलाइन द टाइम विल बी Uh, it has been mentioned hmm. what is the time sort of ग्रुप में डाल दिया जाएगा इट विल बी डन थ्रू ऑनलाइन इट विल बी डन थ्रू ए गूगल यूट्यूब लिंक which you can see when it is live streamed and afterwards it will be available on the portal maybe one days after notes uh, notes uh, also will be uploaded in ad advance so you can go through it but i would suggest you to attend the lectures live so that you can get familiarized you can understand by listening itself you can get at least 50% of the knowledge and my uh, class and my sessions will be held every thursday uh, from now till exam 
at 8 pm if there is any change i will be letting you in the group so every thursday my class will be there then all the classes both in offline and online mode will be held at 2 pm that has been discussed so current affair classes isko bahut hi zyada seriously lena hai because um, 20% questions are directly from the current affairs in upsc and may uh, plus 20% are directly inspired from the current affairs so you have to take it very sincerely and there is no need to follow any other sources any other compilation pt365 any other thing for the current affair this should be final and enough for the current affair so there is no need you just listen watch the lectures go through the uh notes that has been shared make your own short notes that you can revise suppose the environment notes are there so you uh, re, uh, make your short notes or maybe in 5 10 pages or 20 pages and go through so that you can go through it in 2 3 hours similarly for uh, science tech you make your own short notes based upon the class and the material shared with you but do not keep it in the last to see ये जो एग्जाम है दिस इज नॉट कि यूपीएससी का ये कॉलेज एग्जाम नहीं है कि रात भर पढ़ेंगे एंड सुबह एग्जाम देंगे एंड पासिंग ग्रेड मिल जाएगा यू डोंट हैव टू पास यू हैव टू यू हैव टू यू हैव टू क्वालिफाई प्रिलिम फॉर दैट यू हैव टू गो एव दो अदर एट नाइन लैक्स पीपल दैट आर अपियरिंग इन दिल्स एंड यू हैव टू कम इन द टॉप Ten thousand. So you imagine the level of uh, seriousness that exam, this exam needs. So every day, watch the lectures, go through the notes, maybe take out the print of the lectures, and make your own short notes after going through it two three times, and definitely make your own notes and go through it two three times so that it is etched in your. mind and heart and you never should be forgetting it second you are supposed to link it with the static stuff suppose you are reading about any bird which has which has become critically endangered then you are supposed to read about the critically endangered species that is in there in india what are the problems they are facing this kind of thing suppose there is an a current affair about the great indian bustard then you are supposed to understand the what are the <clears throat> issues and problems of great indian bustard where they are located which are the national park where they are located so all these stuffs you are supposed to read from the current affair also now this is not the time you have five month or less than five month so all the static concept cannot be taught uh, <clears throat> you have to revise them from the notes that you have if you do not have notes for uh, your static content then discuss with the mentor and they will uh help you to get it from uh, the open sources that is available there are lots of videos on the internet for every subject or uh, content notes also and i think uapn foundation batch they get the notes also for this mass prelims uh, i have taught environment uh, um, a lot and again i will be doing for the environment section some for polity some for. so within <clears throat> that current affair you are supposed to take it very sincerely and keep linking with static the fourth component is my strategy sessions and this will include three things first question answer doubt clearing sessions that will do in the beginning and at the end of the every strategy session so if you have any doubt related to any test or any generic related to preparation that you can discuss with me second is that i will be covering the static topics the most in, important static topics that we have in polity which are more marks facing so every next uh, week suppose we have now <clears throat> 2025 uh, thursday left so maybe 25 classes will be there on each day i will be covering the static topics and roughly uh, uh, 40 45 maybe 50 topics large topics i am saying will be covered from the all subject 
and in that way you will be in that way you will be revising your static topics also and if uh, it will be a great value addition to your existing knowledge see lakshmi kant is a great book for polity there is no need for any extra value addition but there are certain topics which are not there in that so i will be covering it then how uh, then similarly for economy uh, any book is fine but there is no uh, critical analysis of uh, economic terms so that i will be doing so there are multiple such um, spect in polity economy geography all the subject that i will be covering through uh, my uh, lectures or on every thursday then later on maybe uh, march onwards or together also i will be taking a uh, question answer solving class so there you will learn how to solve the question more accurately how to use the uh, logical method to solve the questions how you can get the better accuracy how to think to solve the question how to approach the question in this way i um, try i will try to solve at least 500 to 1000 questions in live with all of you and i expect that all of you uh, all of you will be uh, all of you will be attending and learning it so in this way it will complete the whole cycle of preparation of the prelims test explanations doubts clearance mentorship then <clears throat> static part current part then learning question answer solving so all these six aspects will be there three aspect will be handled by me directly uh, then other mentors are there then other faculties are there and then test also in test also there are practice test basic test advanced test and uh, full test plus csat test so do not ignore the csat also you have six csat test also and you are supposed to give the csat test also for the csat strategy is very simple all of you know that uh, know to solve the question which is asked in 9th and 10th level class so there is no need for a special teaching you just have to have enough practice so buy a question bank which contains all uh, <clears throat> all uh, uh, all years of all 12 year 13 years of question bank of uh, csat divide them topic wise and solve all the questions and that way you will be you have enough practice and you will be able to solve qualify the cut up marks that is required basic marks in csat itself and also there will be one uh, similar class on csat so there you can ask more details about it it will be taken by ravi so i think csat is a problem for many and yes uh, swati uh, smash prelims where see current affair completely will be covered and static topics selectively all those important area that will be covered by me and uh, civil daily current affair material that will be provided will be more than enough all you need to digest it and remember it and produce in exam nothing else is required however if you are uh, if you are following any news paper then definitely keep doing that but do not give more than half an hour for it just get familiarized with the things and topics that is in the news or maybe note down the important keywords not more than there is no need to uh, mugging up the opd and other stuff then <coughs> there is no need to go for other compilation or other youtube video uh, bulky videos for current affairs you will be getting it here only and you have paid for it and expect you that you get the benefit of all the expect and even if you are not doing well in your test there is no need to uh, panic so <clears throat> let me briefly uh, go to the again i hope all of you are noting down i have not made any ppt because you have to take this seriously and note down all the things that i am saying so <clears throat> first 
you need to revise revise in the sense whatever the sources you have just followed that you have to revise now there is a need for one source uh, one subject and one source there is no need to go for multiple sources otherwise you will be wasting your and duplicating your effort so i think uh, those of you who are in foundation and uap uh, this problem is sorted out now those of you who are in the smash prelims uh, earlier and january edition uh, i think you should you should have discussed with the mentor call in the orientation session but again let me repeat it you have to follow the standard sources only for example polity you are supposed to go through 9 and 10th ncert quickly in one or day or two then lakshmikant only plus whatever i will be doing in the polity so that should be enough i will take to uh, two three classes on polity and i think then current affair on polity if you combine all these things you will have more more than enough there is no need for anything else in the, on the polity then <clears throat> history uh, for modern india a spectrum is fine uh, it is more than enough there is no need to go here and there if you are not unable to follow the spectrum there is one i think tmh book is there for modern india uh, with death of Bao, uh, death of aurangzeb to independence uh that is more than enough i will be taking uh, uh um, two classes on history modern india so i think there you will be get it covered for ancient and medieval india uh, uh, inclusive of art and culture old ncert is fine now some of you immediately ask sir tamil nadu ncert padhu ki nahi padhu koi ek source ko follow karna hai whether tamil nadu ncert or old ncert ancient and medieval if you are able to remember all the fact that is given in those two tiny books i think 70% of questions you will be able to solve it plus introduction to art there is a book called uh, in ncert can you show once how to use port portal other than the test okay utkarsh everything will be available on the portal once the test date come right now it may not be visible to you because the test has not become live and nothing is there once test and current affair classes is live under the different tab you will get everything at one tab test another tab strategy video session another tab all the current affair lecture so everything will be very simple <sighs> static part won't be taught please static part was never promised in the program and it is also not possible to cover all the static otherwise we will be doing the whole thing that is not required static part is taught for foundation and uap batches static part cannot be taught in the next 3 4 month so but <clears throat> part of the static topics will be covered by me around uh, 25 lectures will be there on the static part and i will be covering around 50 topics so i think most important scoring areas will be covered here this is also not a crash course for prelims so that you get the static current and everything that is not the purpose purpose here to make you revise the things by your way and whatever that you have learned so that you can retain it and use it in the exam i hope our menu is it clear okay so uh, first read and revise your okay mains answer writing ki baat hum karenge how to manage the time ke andar so in this first revise from your standard sources and any other material that has been provided by for the existing student for others those who have joined recently uh, in smas prelims stand alone program i will be providing the extra material for the static area that you must cover along with the standard sources which i have mentioned for 
polity and history for uh, art and culture some of the topics you can get from the nitin singhania also there is no need for go to ccrt and other 10 books yes abhiman <clears throat> so <clears throat> then uh, for uh, geography ncrt 11th and 12th plus gc leong plus fuller book is there for especially you can go refer it as a reference for agriculture and some of the topics which are not given in detail in ncrt plus i will be taking four or five classes in geography especially mapping areas which should be more than enough for the geography part given then it is old ncrt only so uh, geography is fine then coming to the environment part for environment any sources fine either you following shankar ias pf uh, pmf ias or any other book that you are following at least go through it for your own understanding plus i will be taking at least eight lectures on current affair uh, this environment static part covering major all important major topics there so that you don't have to worry about the environment at all then uh, uh then current affair of environment i think this much it will be fine you don't have to go anything else for the environment then uh, science tech science tech is largely current affair so current affair will be covered in the detail for one and half year plus i will be taking two three classes on the science tech static part for static you may go through ncert 9 and 10th if you can i am saying only if you can in short time you can go through it it's fine if you are not from science tech background then leave it there there is no need to uh, memorize any international report and index they are not asking this question any more there will be no compilations for it whatever things get covered normally in the materials in our, that will be fine more than enough there is no need to you will not be getting any compilation that is not required for schemes and other things you might get uh, classes uh, for economy and everything will be there for economy um, any book is fine either you follow the ramesh singh book or there is a burma book or shankar ganeshan i think there is a, so any book is fine plus i will be taking to uh, to uh, two lectures on a static part and rest will be covered by the economy current affairs sajal singh uh, he will be he is the founder of civil daily he will be taking economy classes by himself and after attending his classes you probably will not require any much things so myself sajal singh and plus any standard book that you have referred i think that will be enough for the economy remember this is not a general session where you can ask random doubts you have to follow the script what we are giving because since you have enrolled in the course you have to follow the <clears throat> directives what are the directions your mentors are giving strictly in whatever that we have discussed you can uh, slightly deviate from what i am saying if your mentors say based on your strength and weaknesses so that's it then art and culture i think that i have covered for uh, any topic that is left Mm. ir international relation it is largely current affairs so i think that will be covered in the current affairs classes all the uh, schemes it, uh, the, they will be covered under either social issues or economy current affairs classes so there is no need to worry there will be a, uh, a special test on the covering uh those schemes and budget and everything there will be separate classes on the budget and survey also and there will be separate test on the budget and survey so don't have to everything is sorted here you don't have to go here and there so standard sources that i have mentioned plus the current affair that are being taught 
plus if you want go through the newspaper half an hour not more than that or better than it swiss daily website every day half an hour read the current affair that is provided if you want otherwise there is no need to i am repeating it again there is no need to go through any monthly monthly magazine or compilation or any video lectures that you watch daily on youtube or any telegram group for that purpose or you don't have to go through raj sabha channel this that channel and other pib this that srika sezal for ancient and medieval strictly old ncrt nine uh, ncrt for ancient india medieval india plus introduction to art fine art book is there i think there are two books then nitin singhania all the cultural one liner part that you can cover it from there and <clears throat> there was one more book i uh, one more thing which i have shared for those of you who have difficulty in uh, understanding the uh, remembering memorizing the concept you can buy this book it is called ghatna chakra gs drishti so it basically cover ancient medieval and modern india in very tabular format so it is available online i am not promoting it it is basically solve the purpose you can buy it for the indian history or even for the science part ghatna chakra let me type it here ghatna chakra it will be act as a revision book ghatna chakra indian history drishti it is available online and in english you can buy it for geography we also it is also available i think in ebook but i will better suggest keep an habit of reading things in hard copy so that you can have a better retention okay i think i am just mention only to mukul yadav okay so i have this is sources about the sources uh, we are clear now second aspect is when you are reading or revising the sources at least do it two three times there is no need to show the book i have just mentioned in the chat uh, search in the google, youtube uh, google you will find it <clears throat> second aspect is when you are reading and revising this is very important aspect that i am mentioning here uh, try to uh, sir how to prepare for ups uppc current affair upsc oh. uppc upsc current affair is not a different uh, if you are preparing upsc current affair you will be able to do it and for uppc just <coughs> buy a monthly um, Uh, annual compilation by gang uh, this uh, ghatna chakra itself is there you can go through it for uppcs so second aspect is uh, making short notes and uh, revision aspect so when you are revising uh, things any subject to say any topic suppose you are revising polity so you are supposed to go through two three times first फर्स्ट स्टडी कर लिया सेकेंड में भी अंडरलाइन कर लिया थर्ड में यू आर सपोज टू गो थ्रू द इट मेक ए मेंटल मैप व्हाट आर द थिंग्स दैट यू आर एबल टू रिमेंबर और नॉट इसको माइंड में चलाओ एंड देन ओनली इन द फोर्थ स्टेज यू आर सपोज टू मेक शॉर्ट नोट ऑफ दोज थिंग्स जो कि याद नहीं रहते सो राइट दोज थिंग्स ओनली इन योर शॉर्ट नोट्स विच यू कैन नॉट रिमेंबर 
so that is the only criteria so that you can give it more focus something that you remember normally something do that you have understood you don't need to write in your short notes you can make it in a tabular format you can make it in a points format you can make it in a chart format anything just write see while you are reading three four times you will be able to have 57 60% of retention once you write those thing difficult topics you will have up to 90% of retention then write down those things jo difficult hai remember karne ke liye if i ask you uh, suppose uh, what are the keywords in preamble then if you remember all the keywords then it is fine if you do not just write it down what are the important uh, uh, let's say committees are there if you remember all of them is fine if you do not remember any of them then uh, then write it down so uh, generally odd things we are not able to remember so you can write it down odd committee any odd thing that is there in the book any too much factual thing is there then you can write it down so that is the idea <clears throat> that is the idea uh, let <clears throat> so short notes you are supposed to make then how to remember the things there are multiple ways you should be doing the revision first you can make a mental map of things while you are reading just after reading close your eyes and try to think all the things that is there if you are able to make uh, a start from one point and go to another point then you have made the mental plan third is that a uh, recall exercise if you have a study something then try to recall it maybe write it what are the things that you are able to write suppose you have read the fundamental rights try to write the all the fundamental rights what are the articles are there what are the types are there what are the exemptions are there what are the exceptions are there those things but best way to remember anything is that make your short notes based on things that you do not remember if you have a group do not make any group which is more than which is more than 2 if it becomes 3 then it will be a it will not be productive more than 2 is not required so if you are a people of two group you can discuss the topics among yourselves so that you remember but do not get digressed from the topics and keep the discussion within you two only and do not <coughs> engage into fight in old ranjinder nagar so <coughs> that's it the uh, the revision part so once you have done the revision so once once you have done the revision part see all the keywords that are there in fundamental rights that is important not the exception in 192 exceptions in 15 16 17 19 20 or 21 everywhere all the exceptions are always important in polity exceptions are always important you should be remembering it so after you have done the followed the read the standard book revise it make your short notes then third aspect is that you are supposed to attempt the previous year's questions also i will be taking up the previous year's question and so help you solve how to attempt it but you should try it anyway by yourself if you have done a particular topic try to solve the question that has come in that particular topic either so buy a question bank if you have not uh, if you have not especially in the hard copy not in a telegram group and not online buy a hard copy of previous year's question bank and solve all the questions related to that particular topic it will be a mental exercise and help you to focus where are the where understand where is the focus on of the upsc in a particular topic you might observe very uh, surprise things then pyq karne ke baad you are supposed to attempt the test suppose te uh, polity test 1 is there then before that you are supposed to revise the syllabus of polity test 1 make short notes go through the previous year's questions 
then attempt the polity test one and we, in that you also have practice test to go through practice test also and four mental call mentor call practice test will not qualify only once you attempt the main test basic test or advanced test then only you can avail the mentor call practice test is just for your practice to know your understanding before the main test so give the test now while giving the test nishi uh, roshan if you are in delhi you can meet the mentor at the delhi center uh, in the other parts of country it is not possible practice test means it is a 50 question test and it will cover a certain topics only but uh, poly, uh, the other test are 100 questions test and more or less cover a particular subject suppose polity 1 cover half of the polity polity 2 cover half second half of the polity so it is like that so give the test while giving the test please uh, kindly keep in the mind you may note it down also that uh, you are not supposed to guess first thing do not guess ab kuch log mere paas aate hain ki sir mera to guess wala question sara galat ho jata hai main kehta hu tumhe guess karne ki zarurat kya thi itne poor guesser ho to hmm? there is no need to guess i am repeating again there is no need to guess again गेस तो करना ही नहीं है नॉट इन द टेस्ट नॉट इन यू हैव टू गिव अप दिस हैबिट ऑफ गेसिंग यू हैव टू गिव अप ऑफ ट्राइंग टू इलिमिनेट द टू रीच द आंसर वेयर यू शुड बी नोइंग द आंसर इज प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट अवेलेबल टू एवरी वन यस प्रैक्टिस टेस्ट इज अवेलेबल टू एवरी वन सो 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 so uh, my point is that my point is that mm, you don't have to guess you do not have to try to eliminate the questions at this stage especially when you are giving the practice and basic test yes because uh, anurag once you practice enough then you only you can attempt 85 90 before the practice before learning the techniques and do not go by the topper words many of them are many of them are lying sir are you feeling weak yes i am feeling bit cold i am trying to manage don't worry <sighs> first you have to learn the normal understanding of how to attempt a particular question first you have to rely on your knowledge and understanding do not try to uh, uh, guess means don't jump to the answers when you see the question first read it understand it ask yourself whether you know this topic if answer is yes then try to attempt it if you say if you are not sure then if you are let's say 50% sure what should you do if you are only 50% sure if you attempt a question there is a 99% chance that it will be go wrong so it means that you are supposed to study more about that topic you are supposed to understand the question first and then only you are supposed to answer so at this stage i am only saying at this stage when you are giving basic test you are supposed to only attempt those question where you are so sure sort and why i am telling this because only when you know ki okay these are the topics where i am sure sort but these are the topics where i am only 50% sure or these are the topics where i am only 10% sure so you have to break this uh, you have to break this myth that you know everything if you know only 50% of 50 question get correct it means you uh, understand only 50% of the syllabus raise 50 you have to prepare so it's better to know your weakness and then revise those again 
correct it and then attempt the questions so first idea is that if you know only 50 question 40 question for sure attempt those 50 question only but those all 50 questions should be 100% correct suppose if you thought that uh, uh, these 50 question are i am absolutely correct and still you made 10 wrong what it does it say it means what you are thinking is that it is right it turns out to be wrong it means either you are conceptually wrong it you are conceptually not understood the thing so my point is that at this stage you have to find your weakness where are the weakness in particular topic particular subject particular areas and then only you are supposed to improve it so suppose 50 questions uh, you attempted it 40 became correct and 10 is incorrect and rest 50 is unattempted due to some reasons you are not sure the other issues are there so you will immediately get down to the, those 10 question and find out i am coming to analysis part now yes so immediately you don't have to worry about the first 40 question you may not even see the explanations those 40 question where you got it correct so whenever anyone asks me sir itne questions ke itne galat ye ho gaye to main puchta hu galat kitne hue so if you are doing 50 correct and 40 incorrect it means you have not prepared at all ek bachcha bhi 10th year ka main bolu ki bnc mein maar do to then he will get 50 40 correct so what is the difference between a child and you so you are supposed to getting 50 correct then you are supposed to get at not more than 10 incorrect so that kind of accuracy i am expecting in actual exam you should be getting 60 correct and 15 incorrect maybe then only you can get 100 plus 10 or maybe 65 correct and 15 incorrect then you might get 120 plus so that kind of 1 is to 3 ratio i need 1 is to 4 ka ratio hame chahiye not 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 2 you have to attempt how to score high without guess and explanation that is i am explaining abhi manu try to listen it carefully and implement it so do not guess at this stage do not try to eliminate solve only those questions which you are sure sort then still whatever the mistake you are making you are supposed to analyze them go through the all the options see whether you made any silly mistake what kind of silly mistakes were there you were thinking something else and you thought on question was something else or you read the question casually you did not uh, uh, read all the options you had preconceived view about the answers you did not got uh, and uh, read the catch words there was a not in the answer but uh, explaining question but you did not read that so all these things whatever makes your silly mistakes you, you must have seen five four five mistakes six mistakes are there which you make due to your silly reason but not mistake no remember no mistakes are silly it is our unconscious mind which is guiding our answers which which led to incorrect answer so first of all you have to eliminate the this silly kind of things then factual mistake you whether you remember certain things or not if you do not remember a fact carefully you might get it wrong so then you identify the topics where you have made the factual mistake and go through it again if they are asking what is the tax to GDP ratio and you are not sure you made it wrong, then meet your some, there is something you need to remember. So factual mistake, then conceptually mistake. You thought question is about something else, but later on it is found that it is something else. Then it is conceptual mistake. Then go through the, that topic, try to understand it, why there is a mistake. And if you are not able to get it clear, discuss with the mentor or refer another source where you can get it properly. So silly mistakes, factual mistake, conceptual mistakes, and later on only it comes the logical mistake. 
some question are based upon your common sense intelligence and logic by which you can solve the questions but i am not going into the detail because only later on you will be using the uh, logical methods to solve the questions there are lots of logical methods and which i will be discussing through uh, taking up the questions in the later stage and maybe during our strategy session so you have to focus on all these three kind of mistakes first once you have identified the mistakes try to realize it try to correct it in the next test note down the questions where you have made the mistake then other 40 questions suppose where you did not attempt it means it is the weak area so identify the topics where uh, you could not attempt the question and go through those topics in your source material either standard book or the notes that you have and revise it properly and then again go uh, again maybe uh, attempt the test if you are scoring low suppose you scored only uh, could attempt only 30 question it means there is a problem in your preparation and you are supposed to revise the syllabus again and give the test again rather than crying you have to give the test again by after preparing it so this is the step first revise read make short notes attempt previous year questions then attempt the test while uh, the test you have to keep these things in the mind read the question twice not in a sleepy way properly uh, tight ho karke uh, thinking at it as in exam condition do not give the test lying down sit on a proper table and chair and if you are in delhi go to the center and write it or if you are at the home probably <coughs> write it somewhere uh, which is uh, which in a proper environment do not give the test on the ipad where you can sleep so give in the laptop properly sitting in a table and chair by taking it very sincerely and analysis should be done just after that so when you have time of at least 3 4 hours at your hand then only you will give the test so that immediately after the test you will be uh, analyzing it so one uh, one question one minute so you have 100 question to go through and you will be taking each each question one minute so even you have solved the question in first 10 second you are still supposed to spend one minute at each question so that you develop an habit of reading the question properly read the question twice and then only you attempt it so this is the most important part that's why i, I am repeating again now can anyone volunteer here to summarize the points about the question solving that i have said about the analysis part anyone or should i call by name so hmm. so yes sir. so you said that basically in the practice tests which are not the advanced test or the main test in that test we shouldn't go for the guessing part in that test we should firstly go for the questions which we are sure shot so hmm. that in the analysis part we can see that in which parts we are weak and on which parts we can surely attempt the answer uh, attempt the questions and for the next part when we are attempting the uh, main test the mock tests then we should differentiate between the different mistakes that on the which questions we are going factually wrong or on which question we are going logically wrong but logically wrong are the uh, for the parts we first we have to see where we are going factually wrong and conceptually wrong hmm. because many of the questions and many of the questions goes wrong due to the silly mistakes where we hmm. can't read the question or we cannot conceptualize the question what the question is asking so hmm. we have to avoid this kind of the mistakes firstly and then we should go for the guessing part in the advanced level yes very good very good so i hope all of you have now uh, noted all these things and remember in the mind same thing for practice and basic test you will be following these things you be very careful while attempting the test for keep these things in the mind and analyze the test afterwards the way it is 
so after you have analyzed the test you have found out your weaknesses then you might revise the those topics again where you have uh you have not attempted it or where you have made the mistakes and then when you have all the mistakes and all the issues all the doubts in your hand you are supposed to call your mentor supposed to uh, text your men mentor that you want a mentor call and then you will be he will be addressing your queries ki acha ye problem wo problem and where do you think what you are supposed to do so all these things once you have the understanding properly of your problems see nobody can tell you your problems better than by yourself nobody can tell your weaknesses better than yourself in your heart you know what are the mistakes you are doing in heart you know that you are only following the toppers video and their lavasna reels and not focusing on the study so if you are doing those things and let's stop following the instagram the lavasna reels or whatever the entry videos of is ips all these things if you are doing in your life then probably you should not have joined this uh, these courses and waste your time there but if you have joined here if you have want to guidance from myself and other faculty who have to devote a lots of time in guiding you so that try to get best utilized and my best wish is that you qualify not only the prelims but mains also and finally become ias ips and whatever the dreams you you have so so uh, this is the method this is a systematic way it, is, it has worked very well earlier uh, earlier uh, years and it has given very good output so you are supposed to uh, you are supposed to follow it now uh, good evening sir yes. i have a question shall i ask now yes yes sir what do you mean by logical guessing sir let's say there are conceptual questions like let's say about the rule of law article 14 relates to rule of law let's say if a question says about something about rule of law and there is an option article 14 it's not factual but it's conceptual like inflation and uh, us federal rates and everything so do do we, do we need to ignore that as well or how does that work see when is something is about your common sense if the question is suppose the question is in uh, the countries where rule of law is the norm anyone can be arrested without a warrant is it true no sir so it is a common sense it is nowhere written in the book but you, you can attempt these kind of questions right but if say okay these are the points uh, um, uh, these are the concept related to rule of law then there are three four uh, points there and if you are not aware of the one point you cannot correlate by common sense so if you have the understanding of this topic you can solve it but even you do not have the understand some new keywords are there then you are supposed to leave it because this is now beyond this will go to the logical uh, uh, solving methods logical methods so later on only i will be discussing this uh, and right now it is not appropriate for all of you to think about the logical guessing or logical elimination or all these things first you will be working on your silly mistakes completely avoid it all silly mistakes are completely and if any one of you have given the uh, prelims past years i think most of you must have given it so you will be know how many silly mistakes you must have made at least five because that way our brain works but you have to promise yourself that you will not make those kind of mistake then coming to factual if you do not remember things clearly see upsc is more or less about the, your memory there is no need for very high intelligence but there is a need for your memory if you do not remember the constitution articles there is no point even you as an ias if you do not remember a particular section of ipc or uh constitution article then you will be dismissed because you cannot write a report and you cannot every time go and search google ke okay if there is a law and order problem which section i will use so there you have to remember it so remembering is the 
very important part and everybody remember things very differently some of you will be do it better in writing and that is one of the best best, best uh, method that you write the things that you want to remember some of you might do mental map some of you do by recording it some of you do by charts and flow charts diagrams and all the uh, memory diagram so many uh, mnemonics are there so all these way but you have to remember it somehow one way or another everybody have this potential if you say you do not remember and that's where your answer getting wrong then this is not acceptable it means you are not sincere if you making your questions wrong by not remembering the fact if the question is about article 154 and if you do not remember what is this about it means you are not sincere because it is about one of the very important section it is about the reservation to certain caste backward classes what is 156 it is about the reservation to ews so it is a, has a practical significance also and if you do not remember it means you are not sincere if you do not remember article 368 uh, there its clauses then it is just waste of time you should not be preparing at all but you have to remember it that is the way same for the economy all the facts and data you have to memorize it whatever the way works for you you have to remember what is our import and export what is agriculture import and export what are the top 10 countries of import what are the top 10 commodity of import and export what are the top 10 agriculture commodity of export at least five you should be remembering what is the gdp gnp data what is the inflation rate going on what is the wpi that is there what is the mclr or bank rate or other things if you do not remember it is not in your on your tongue then it is a mistake to prepare for upsc that you should be knowing the pattern also what has been pattern whether it is declining or increasing what was earlier rate what was the earlier rate of bank rate what was the this what was the slr what was the previously whether it has declined from earlier or not whether it has increased what is monetary policy transmission so why rbi is doing this that who is the name of rbi governor so many of the things you should be remembering it how many members are in the upsc you should be remembering it similarly in history you should be remembering there is no point if you do not remember the prominent members of anushilan samiti or yugandar or gadar party or who set up hsra or who uh, who who was suri sen if you do not remember then it is complete waste of time so you have to remember it and as far as time goes one minute one question so 100 minute you will be able to finish the test and keep the 20 minutes for filling the bubble so you will not take more than 100 minute in an online test if i see any of you have utilized more than uh, 100 minutes in any test then you will be reprimanded you will be <coughs> uh, you will not be doing it sincerely so 100 minute one test leave 20 minutes for the bubble filling so you have to practice in the 100 minutes so <coughs> memory is the most important thing and whatever that is there in the book just imagine any sincere student will remember those things and if they are asked when this uh, uh, act ilbert bill controversy broke in which year who was the governor general what was the issue these are the basic things and any sincere student they will remember just imagine yourself in the crowd of 10 lakh people whether are you better than them are you better than them in memory are you better than them in understanding the topic or are you have practiced the enough or are you casual enough to prepare are you casually it solve in the question just imagine yourself in those crowd and see where you are and imagine all the brilliant people that is there in india who are appearing the test from iit iim nit or maybe even from the normal colleges who are the toppers or those who, students who are doing this day and night memorizing things and doing thinks more sincerely and properly than you imagine that and then get the seriousness that is required 
I do not expect that you will be uh, uh, studying more than 10 hours or nine hours daily. So divide your schedule in three into three into three. Well, three into three. Three hours in morning, three in afternoon, and three in the evening. So any two slots for the prelims. In the first, you should be rem uh, uh, remembering and memorizing the any fresh subject. In the second slot, you will be doing the all the practice and everything and revision of the what you have read and in the third either you can use utilize for some day for the mains preparation or revising any new topic so first thing in the morning revise a subject or <clears throat> in the afternoon revise something that you have done already and in the third you can use for mains preparation or if you are not doing the mains then you use it for the csat practice or making short notes or solving PYQ or reading these things or working on these mistakes. So revision is very important. Three into three, divide your nine, 10 hours in three slot, three in the morning, let's say nine to 12, afternoon two to five, and in the evening six to nine or 10. So in the first slot, revise something fresh, uh, give three, four hours, try to understand it properly. Then in the afternoon session, you revise something that you have been doing for last two, three days and solve tests, solve previous year's questions, solve um, practice tests, these kind of things, or make your notes, make short notes, revise them. In the third slot, either you do it for the, your mains preparation, maybe for one month more, or use it for the making short notes and other things. Any two things only you can do. Either you can cover at a time two subject of prelims or one prelims or one mains. Within the mains, either GS mains or optional. So only two things you would be doing. Now one slot you will be, anyway, afternoon slot you will be doing your uh, current affair classes. So that will be taken up. So you have at two slots in your hand that can be utilized for the revision and giving test and everything. But use the first slot of four hours or three hours for first memory, understanding, revision and all these things properly. And only restrict you to yourself to the standard sources or material that has been provided to you or that I have mentioned. Nothing more than that or current affair that is provided only, not more than that. So I think uh, I have covered more or less the points that should be keeping in the mind. And uh, next from tomorrow onward, there is one lecture on how to stay motivated and in general strategy by Praveen. Uh, <coughs> then afterwards you have one more on C, uh, C side, then current affair, then subject specific, also geography history, they will be separately covered by the different faculties and you can ask the subject a specific doubt you have in general about the preparation ideas, but try to stick with the thing that I have discussed. I have, I have arranged this, uh, this lecture so that you can ask in the detail about the to important topics and subtopics and all these things. Then afterwards from 10 onwards, uh, you will have current affair classes, first environment, then economy, then uh, environment, then science tech, then economy, then polity, then social economic issues and miscellaneous topics. That way, uh, one and a half year of current affair will be covered. So the notes will be uploaded in advance and you can take the printout or you can directly read in your laptop. But do not forget to make short notes the day itself after you attended the lectures or you can make short notes during the lectures itself. 2 p.m. will be class timing for all the current affair lectures uh, and my class will be at held every Thursday at 8 p.m. So I think uh, we have done more or less. If there is any doubt, anything? So. Hmm. So a minor question. So it's Amir Adam. Sir, I was hmm. asking it again that. So uh, we will attend the classes for the current affairs on the basis how the classes are given, right? And yes. 
we will only rely upon the classes right we will not go for any other uh, compilations of the current affairs yes. as on the daily basis now i am reading for a 2 hours just the current affairs of the insights so i will devote that time for some other subject right yes okay you yes. divide uh, devote all the time for the sub, uh, test that is upcoming suppose policy okay. tests okay. are upcoming so, so give yourself entire time except the time that you use for current affair classes okay. only for the quality revision making short notes going through previous year's question making short notes so you basically all of you should have two type of short notes one for a static and one for current affair same for polity economy history geography and all the subject so maybe 20 pages for a static uh, uh, short notes maybe 10 pages for the current affair 10 pages so not more than 30 pages if you are making bulky notes it means you are not revised enough. If any chapter is going beyond one page, it means you have not revised it properly. Sir, uh, Vivek this side, sir. Good hmm. evening, sir. Hmm. Sir, uh, I have been following a uh, uh, civil study monthly magazine. I am a hmm. student of UAP 23. Sir, uh, then, then uh, as you mentioned, sir, when the current affairs classes will start, sir, uh, I have to stop it and then follow it entirely the current affairs class, sir. Yes, now shift to entirely to the current paper class. There is no need for magazines going on separately. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, hi, sir. Katya on this side. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, I'm following this Samacha Manthan video lectures that we have been provided for the UA for the UAP mm -hmm. program. So for this current affairs prelims, smash prelims things. So do we have to leave leave this video lectures or? Completely rely on this thing that we are going to get. The Samachar month is more oriented toward the mains preparation. So you should continue that. And for mm -hmm. the prelims purposes, you shift to the video lectures that is being provided entirely. There is no okay. need to go for any other thing. Okay, sir. Like we have to rely on both the things. Yes, Samachar month and you should not miss it because it will help you in mains, mains preparation. Okay, sir. Thank you so much. Hmm. Sir, uh, hello, sir. Good evening. Yes, sir. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I have a question like uh, Samachar Manthan is uh, more means oriented. And uh, from prelims point of view, uh, should we, uh, can we completely rely on uh, the content provided in um, yes, the Samachar Manthan? Yes, provided for one and a half year and that is going to be going to be quite bulky in itself. So consider it as a revision and first hand sources and everything. There is no need for any other thing at all you will be burdened by too much current affair that is not required all right sir and one more question that i had uh, mm. in between my preparation sir i had lost like two three months uh, uh, for the medical exigency um, and uh, on account of that i had like i have completed only half of my option as of now uh, like half a portion of my um, option which is history like world history and uh, the modern portion of it uh, can I uh, sort of uh, take the risk of uh, pushing it after prelims or should I uh, continue with my optional for another one month maybe? Okay, one month for mains uh, optional, but do not go for the uh, then GS mains. All right, sir. All right. Okay, all of you, I will have to take one call. So kindly hold on. Thank you.
हेलो आई होप आई स्टिल ऑडिबल ठीक है यस हाँ यस एक्चुअली देर वॉज वन फैमिली इमरजेंसी एनी वे ओके टेल मी और कोई डाउट है एनी वन सर सर कैना यस यस अभी मैं बताओ गुड इवनिंग हाँ गुड इवनिंग सर आई वॉन्टेड टू अस्क यू सर ये जो स्पेसिफिकली हिस्ट्री और पॉलिटी में सर जो प्रिलिम्स के लिए एलिमिनेशन होता है वो आप उसी टाइम जब लेक्चर लेंगे तभी लेंगे क्या इसके हाँ हाँ जो मैं लेक्चर्स लूंगा उसमें आगे और पीछे मैं ये वाले लेक्चर सकता हूँ ठीक है सो डोंट वरी उसको हम स्टेप बाय स्टेप सीखेंगे ठीक है ओके सर एंड सर सेकंड थिंग इज सर एज अ वर्किंग प्रोफेशनल आफ्टरनून में तो अटेंड करना पॉसिबल नहीं होगा क्लासेस तो फिर अगले दिन वो रिकॉर्ड करके पोर्टल पे रहेगी डोंट वरी वो उसको देख सकते हो बाई इवनिंग में अवेलेबल हो जाएगी पोर्टल पर ठीक है देन यू कैन सी इट ओके थैंक यू हाँ ओके रीडिंग न्यूज पेपर अभी नहीं uh, कर सकते हो हाफ एन आवर ओनली उससे ज्यादा नहीं ठीक है नॉट मोर देन हाफ एन आवर एंड जस्ट गो थ्रू द न्यू की वर्ड नोटेड डॉन एंड सी इफ इट इज बींग कवर्ड इन योर करेंट अफेयर लेक्चर इफ इट इज नॉट देन यू मे मेक योर शॉर्ट नोट और वॉच योर वीडियोज एन यूर बट इट विल बी कवर्ड मोर और लेस टू डोंट वरी देर इज नो नीड टू गो फॉर ओपीडी एंड अदर थिंग्स एट दिस स्टेज इट विल ओनली वेस्ट योर टाइम एंड देर इज नो नीड फॉर दैट आई थिंक इट इज वेरी क्लियर ओके आर देर इज वन आर हिज लेफ्ट स्मिथ क्वार ओके एनी एनी थिंग एल्स एनी वन okay then all the best all of you uh, if you have any doubt anything so you can uh, course related anything you can place in the group and it will be answered in the due course however the mentor is the best place but there is a criteria you have to give the test before the mentor call so keep in that in mind and give your test on the time and test yourself before upsc test you so all the best guys good night and take care of yourself thank in you. the thank you, heavy sir. winter thank okay. you so much good night sir good night okay so now we are ending this uh, kindly uh, share the recording with sachin and let like, get it uploaded sure sir hmm.